guys, Coral Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. And we're back here with Brooklyn Nine-Nine, where last time it was one of the funnier episodes of the season, and I hope that they can keep that up, because that was crazy last time. Someone died, Eric. They died. Jeez, you two. great. Did you laugh at the death of this fantastic lady? You know, the, what I thought was a death. Deaths has been my favorite part of the show so far. Mm-hmm. Deaths have been your favorite part of the show? Yep. Think so. All right. I like deaths. Made in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It's very dark. I hope this was much funnier. All I care about is what we found in your car. I don't understand. He doesn't understand, Diaz. Why don't you fill him in? You were invited to celebrate the wedding of Catherine Joyner and Douglas Judy. <gasps> Douglas Judy. Doug what? Judy. Doug Judy? A.K.A. the Pontiac Bandits. Maybe. That's a yes. Now tell me, Shane, when did you get the invite? What? When did you receive the invite in the mail, and how come I didn't get one? Why would you get an invite? Do you know Doug? Hey, I'm the one asking the They're friends! Calm down. Gee, maybe it's a small wedding. Okay, good point. How big is the venue, Shane? I said, how big is the venue? I, 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 I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. But I bet you do know the password to the wedding website, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Well, then I guess you better tell it to me, Shane. You wash my back, I'll wash yours. Wash I meant scratch. You know I meant scratch. Now tell me the password. I think it's Doug and Kate forever. <laughs> Was that so hard, Shane? You did the right thing. Now get this piece of trash out of my sight. <laughs> oh, is forever spelled out? Or is it the number four? Oh, it's spelled out. Okay, thank you so much. Now get this piece of trash out of my <laughs> Doug's getting married. Doug yes. Judy wedding? <laughs> what if it's all a trick? Where's the trap? He was in traps. It's a plant to get this guy here. Knowing Jake will see it. Knowing Jake will come. Knowing trick Jake. What if Doug Judy's getting tricked by the woman? And Kate. Mm, Kate's a liar. Pine so girl. Thanks for <gasps> meeting me at my favorite establishment place where you paint pottery? I find a hand-painted mug makes a thoughtful gift for any occasion. So, what's going on? Anything exciting in your life that you maybe want to tell me about? I got a new job. I sit behind white CEOs when they have to testify before Congress so they don't look so racist. Every 15 minutes, I just whisper some nonsense at them. The texture of quiche is unsettling. I got paid $75,000 for that nonsense. <laughs> Who told you? Ronnie? Bobby? Ricky? Mike, don't try and change the Shame. subject by tricking me into singing a new edition with you. I don't know what you're talking about. Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. If I love the girl, who cares who you like? <laughs> so, all is forgiven? No! Why didn't you invite me? I wanted to, but a lot of people in my life are crooks. They think it's weird that I'm friends with a cop. They just don't understand. Mm. Kind of like parents. No, no more songs. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Was this little figurine of cheddar at a 45 or 50 degree angle? Terry, it's a five degree difference. You'll notice. You better yeah, we did this with the podium already. <sighs> I How did you pull this off? You better figure it out. Cheddar is askew. Well, they made yourself at home, didn't you, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the business card? What? The business card that was right here. It had a piece of gum on it. It was very important to me. Didn't throw it away, did you? No, Terry would never throw away something that looked exactly like trash. Good. I'll be back in a half an hour. Make sure it's on my desk by the end. It will do, sir. Oh my I got Is this card with the yeah. Is he screwing with him? Definitely throw it away. It's, it's gum. I would also have to run it away. Cubes. More Cuban? Son, I'd like you to meet the man whose private jet we are flying on today. Yeah. Oh. What? Hitchcock and Scully already heard. New vending machine. Oh my god, they just showed up. We asked you what model number. I don't know, a normal one with glass on the front. Seriously, did you even look into the Digi Snack 600E? I'm into a fancy machine too. I was just reading about a Japanese one that serves shellfish. We're not getting a shellfish machine. Yeah, boy, we're getting a smart machine that suggests soda pairings based on your chip choice. Or Ooh. one with a make it wet gravy feature. Ooh. Okay, look, why don't you get a few options make it wet together gravy? and then yeah. decide, okay? Terry's not here to try to make you get a yogurt machine. What was that about yogurt? <laughs> this is insane. There's a private chef that'll make anything you ask for, no matter how expensive. I just ordered lobster ashante. Oh, damn. What's that? I don't know. I just said the fanciest words I could think of. Oh, I'm going to get the field prime minister. <laughs> 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 these are my coolest clothes. I got them from a targeted Instagram ad after looking at photos of Cam Newton. The outfit is beautiful. It doesn't really say Miami. What does say Miami? <laughs> Yep. Oh. Yes. I ain't going to Miami. You would fit in at Miami. Are you 
sure this is culturally okay for me? We're gonna find out. Alright. <laughs> we gotta find out. <laughs> Damn, dude, this place is nice. Yeah, some Russian oligarch got the penthouse, but this is the second nicest room. Surprise! Trudy, Trudy, Oh, Trudy, Trudy, no. Trudy, oh, Trudy. no. That was a real sweet piece, so they let me out for good behavior. What the hell? Uh, What's this narc doing? Oh, oh no. no. That's what I thought about. No. No. <laughs> He's just leaving? What the hell was that? Oh. You almost blew my cover. Yeah, they're all suspicious now. You have to help us convince them that Jake's not a cop. Why? I don't understand why you invited him. This is supposed to be a crazy weekend of boobs and butts. Judy, Judy, you're not gonna see boobs or butts this weekend. I'll see butts if I wanna see butts. And Jake is here because he's my friend and he really wants to come. I do bad things. One time I illegally downloaded an O-Town album. Dang, that's one of the hardest boy bands. Exactly. <laughs> Cool. As long as I don't commit any major crimes oh, I took a couple selfies to commemorate getting my own office. A couple? Oh, please. Like you don't have any selfies. Let me see your camera roll. Zero photos? That's so much weirder. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Huh? Does that say Zeph Wilcox? Zeph? No, it's probably Jeff. You know, Zeph. like a normal human name. Oh, no. Those are all made up. There's no such thing as a normal name. Terry. I am not putting Zeph on that card. It's your funeral. Have you found my business card? Uh, you know what? I actually brought it home by accident. <laughs> I got confused because I know someone with that name. You know another Zeph? <laughs> yeah, he's married to Sharon's friend Zudi. Uh, we have dinner with Zeph and Zudi once a month. You know, I'm gonna go home and get it. <laughs> Excuse me. I think they swing. <laughs> It's more than a vending machine. And then we have vending machines. <laughs> She's got it all. Chips, candy, soda, and a whole lot of class. That sounds great for snacking, but what if I'm stuck working late at the office? How about a personal sized frozen pizza? And then what? I have to carry it all the way over to the microwave on my own? Who has the time? Well, you're in luck because... I get it! It cooks, it cooks your pizza? You. It cooks a pizza for you. <laughs> <laughs> Seems all right. Well, I'm glad to hear you're not a knock, because it had been real awkward considering what we did earlier. Huh? While you were checking in, we stole $10 million worth of diamonds from that rich Russian dude in the penthouse. Ah. Bling, bling, baby! You idiot! He's NYPD! That's Doug's cop friend! Wow! Way to ruin Doug's bachelor party, Trudy. <laughs> what a buzzkill, right, guys? $10 million oh, is a bit. $10 million and that is a lot. Why would you pull a heist in the middle of my bachelor party? You pulled a heist during my wedding. <laughs> Put a lot of work into this weekend. I got us all shirts to say Dunn's do. Sorry, but what's done is done. It's not like we can put the diamonds back. Hold up. That's a great idea. Ooh, reverse heist. Reverse heist. Yeah. Does the Russian know his diamonds are missing? No, we swapped them for fakes. Perfect. That means he hasn't reported it. No harm, no foul. Okay, wait. I mean, obviously, I love the premise, and I think a reverse heist would make for a great movie, and I already have the tagline this summer there are take backs. Love that. <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> I'm not on board with this. I'm a cop. And the cop's job is to prevent crime, and that's what you be doing. Please, Jake. Okay, fine. Because it's your bachelor party, and only if I see them put back with my You'll own eyes. Yes, deal. Yes. deal. Reverse like they're going to be stealing them. Coming this fall to HBO. It's a TV show now. Well, that's where all the best content is. Right? Like, where are the real diamonds right now? Yeah. I don't want to know. Yeah. Hmm. It's less pink than I recall. <laughs> I suppose we exaggerate the beauty of those we love. <laughs> Good to have you back, old friend. Can I ask why that car is so important? Uh, because of Zach Wilcox. He was a victim in the first case I worked. I always want to remember him. That's nice. And the words he wrote on the back. The back say what now? Why is this blank? I threw it away. I thought it was trash. I didn't know you kept it to remember someone you helped. I didn't help Zeph. I failed Zeph. This case was never solved. The words written on the back were thanks for nothing. <laughs> oh, man, that's right. I have held on to that car for 30 years <laughs> because I always wanted to remember what it felt like to let someone down, so I'd never do now that. Now you gotta solve the case. That card made me the cop I am. You should have put it, yeah, the case. It. Yeah. I'm lost. <laughs> Since it's important, now I want to be clear. This is Terry's thing. I've just been along for the ride. Rosa. Noted. 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 <laughs> <laughs> This is Matt Daniel, the most popular male ASMR performer on Twitch. ASMR performer? Someone who speaks real soft. We're trying to <laughs> Let me talk to my general manager. You better run. Matt, don't yell. Restrain your beautiful voice. <laughs> <laughs> and 
I sneak out when the guards are distracted by Trudy's signature sexy housekeeping. <laughs> Chuck will bring in stolen diamonds, and I'll use the override code to put them back where they belong. Then we head down to the room where we party like hell. <laughs> a lot of butts. <laughs> they want some butts. It's exactly 14, just like you promised. You did promise for butts. I know. Did we wait? Did we do it? Did did we just see it happen? I guess so. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, yeah. At least they're happy. Look at them. <laughs> they're so happy. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! The outlet. It's not butts. I'm so sorry, Doc. It's just those three back there. Hands on the table. Oh my God. Cops always be capping. <laughs> oh. He narked. Oh man. I swapped out my waterlogged phone for his. Damn, I would have noticed that if I wasn't trying to live in the moment and not look at my phone so much. And then when I was sitting in the car, I called the cops. Mm, impossible, I would have heard you. Not with the smush. Oh, the smush. Oh, Detective with the NYPD. Oh, foot cream, foot cream. <laughs> Did you even illegally download that Old Town album? No. I bought it at their concert. It came bundled with a sweatshirt. Thank you, sick. Doug. <laughs> Judy. Judy's. Man, okay, there wasn't a trick. It was all real. The business cards of people you've helped. One mistake did not make you the cop you are today. 30 years of service to the community did. I'm really glad we could help you with this. Oh, no, you're not going to just jump back in here and not at it all work out. <laughs> 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 you know what? I did all of this. This is all me. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh man! Had those swirl sandwiches in there. The indulgent line is that what it said? Damn! Come back here and do this. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> Why is my name on this? Cause you're coming to the wedding, baby. <laughs> What's going on? You're not mad at me anymore? I arrested your best man. Just like I wanted you to. I was putting on the show in front of Trudy. What? Catherine, my fiance, doesn't want any of my crook friends coming to the wedding. She's a federal judge. How would that look? Oh, uh, what? Federal me. judge? Uh, that's an uncomfortable conversation to have. It was much easier this way. Oh, my God. This whole thing was a setup. It was? I wanted me to buy that invitation. You knew I would never go on a trip with a bunch of crooks unless I felt unwanted. Classic nigga. I bet you planned to have your bachelor party at that hotel because you knew the oligarch was staying there. Hell yeah. Otherwise, I would have got an Airbnb. And as soon as your friends committed a crime, you banked on me needing to arrest them. Damn right. You're the most consistent person in my life, Peralta. I can always tell you. <laughs> but there is one detail you missed. You never saw what I was painting on the inside of my mug at the party. The house. inside? Will you be my best man? Will you be my best man. Yes! For real? It ain't fiction. It's a natural fact. <laughs> what? We come together because our pussies attract. I'll do it. Ah! <laughs> oh, MC Cat on the rap, so Mike it. Here's a little story if you sure want to like it. The worst rap. <laughs> oh. I love it so much. What a roller coaster. Man. <sighs> I was so worried that Boyle was going to come in and see that. Oh. Is that what you were worried about? Yeah. Man, I've been bad. I feel like, yeah, Rick and I, I feel like you and I both went on the same coach. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. a trick. It's all a trick. <laughs> yep. It's not a trick. It was just that. Yeah. yeah. It was a trick. Yeah, it, played, it played well. Yeah. Because even, like, just the thing, the the uh, <clears throat> the invite in the trunk of the car or whatever, I was like, mm -hmm. that could have been a plant, maybe, you know? Like, yeah. could he have been a trick to get him here, to get him to do the heist and stuff? And... <sighs> but no. It would have been a like, smart play to have him help with stealing, right? You yeah. have a cop on your side and everything, but I just didn't think Doug would do it to him. I didn't yeah, think I so either. I know. But, but someone some else talked to him before. Sure, yeah. Like, the friends could have told Doug they did it, and they actually didn't, maybe, I suppose, but... I mean, he could have... I also was like, maybe he's like, hey, I have a cop guy who's going to come down here. Yeah. We're going to him to help us with the heist because he's involved. He won't even narc on us. It's going to be great. You know, that's what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. He's like, no, Amy's... Is Amy pregnant? She says they're having a baby, right? Yeah. That was one of my notes, I think, right? Yes. That, it's for I'm real like, this time. No babies. Baby! Yeah, we're really having a baby. <laughs> I'm looking at my notes. And then there's the one time when she, I'm like, no, the baby! Like, it's not real! So I'm like, no, Amy having a baby. I'm, it's so screwed up in my head right now. But, um, like, he might have that in his head. Like, oh my God, I'm going to be a dad. I can't go to jail right now for stealing $10 million in diamonds. You know? I was like, less worried about them going to jail. More worried about the Russian oligarch. 
sure. coming yeah. after him. Like, that becomes the new <laughs> evil for the season yeah. that they have to watch out for. <sighs> I was hoping we'd get, um, fuck, what's his name? Pimento. Blackbeard from uh, Black Sails. Oh, yes. And Dexter, the actor? Yeah. Him. Why do I always forget? Mm. Susan R, right? Ray Stevenson. Ray Stevenson. Ray. That's what it was. Ray Stevenson. Yes. Him. Him. For him. Yeah. Never he would have been a good Wait, Russian. For what? The Russian? Yeah, yeah, the, the Russian. Russian. Okay. <laughs> you can't think of anybody else. Could you? <laughs> yeah. I, guess, I guess not. Viggo Mortensen, but you're not getting him. No. I loved the uh, <clears throat> the Twitch ASMR streamer thing. That was very <laughs> funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't yell. <laughs> uh, that works on me. That's a fun Does it work? Yeah. Yeah. I get all tingly. I've I've tried a few different like ASMR like just listen to either videos or streams and stuff. I'm like, I don't understand. I like, personally parents just don't understand. Yeah, I didn't get it. I personally I can't stand it. It like gets into me. Like especially if you're like on TikTok and you're scrolling, you get to one, they have like the long like they're like doing this with their thick fingernails and stuff. I'm like ah, I gotta get out of there. I don't know why. It gets <laughs> like, to me. Uh, if it was real and not like digitally through headphones, yeah. it probably would get me, you know. Yeah. And there'd be the change of like, you know, temperature yeah, sure. of the breath and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. But like just hearing like, or like. But you don't get it when yeah. you get your haircut, no, do you? Nothing when yeah. I get a haircut. I, I feel like too. I just close my eyes when I get a haircut, and I, I just feel like this. And that part, I'm like, ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah. But I'm like, there's nothing like tingly about it or yeah. anything like that. That hair thing that we have that you do this that tingles me. Mm-hmm. Sure. But they, the, that thing, like, I think I'm a tolerant person, naturally. I think I have to try to be tolerant for other things, but I cannot tolerate that. <laughs> I have to turn it off. It's pretty easy to avoid. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Sure. But not too bad. Pops up. No, I mean, I've seen it for, like, Twitch and stuff. I'm like, what is this? What is this like? Why do people enjoy this? I'm like, I don't, yeah. get, it. I don't get it. So hmm. I'll change it. But We should react, but in that. Some, we need headphones, I feel like, right? Oh, we'd have to have that. We'd have to have lab mics. Yeah, right? I can't or believe the podcast that. mics. Could you believe that? We should do the next podcast. It's Chris.tv's TV's ASMR. last blind wave Why in ASMR. Hey, guys. Grew a blind wave. I you know, you just got talking to that one. I'm talking to this one. Yeah. Maybe I mean, and then you got to do like this. <laughs> was that pleasant for you? I'm, I hope it was. I Only truly do. I'm jealous of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so Boyle pulled a Fonzie and committed theft. Right? Yeah, but in the police station, which I think is like, it's okay there, right? It's usually like an outside vendor. I don't know. Well, maybe they should fix that. Yeah, I probably should. I don't know what the rules are. <laughs> is that a real vending machine? If I hit a house and out of the window, Sorry. just like, money fell out? Yeah. If I take it, is that bad? Probably. I think so. Yeah, I think so. I didn't break anything. I just basically found Did money. Did you hit the, the house with the intention of getting the money? Maybe not. Not the first time. You know? Like, what if I was like, I don't know. I got, Why'd you hit the, got house? the phone and I'm like, damn it! Oh, and I hit the house next to me just because. Money comes out. Money just falls. I'm like, you just be like, I deserve it. this. Oh, I'm so angry. Thank, thank you, God. Thank you, God. <laughs> you know, I'm taking this money. A hundred dollar bill for my pain. Oh, that's awesome. Find your keepers. And then if I hit, the, hit it again, what if more comes out? <laughs> yeah. They shouldn't have their money dangling on the precipice. <laughs> Whatever came out, right? Sure. That's their yeah. fault. Yeah, right? I guess so. Maybe. I've seen uh, vending machines, not pizza ones, but I've yep. seen ones that do like heated sandwiches. That's pretty cool. Before. Why don't we coffee? Get one? We should get one. That's yeah. heated. Coffee. I've seen those. Yeah. You want to buy a heated sandwich making thing? You go over to Mary College and get one. They used to have a vending machine or heated sandwich. The vending machines. So we can get the vending machine from Mary to College. I mean, probably. They stole that one at Washington State. They stole one. <laughs> <laughs> or someone did. Someone did. So I think you know we got a lot of bars on our front street. We just need to put like. Vending machines in between them. So like hotcakes. Ah. I thought you meant like... Ah! No, 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 no. I meant like actual drinking bars. And then you have people drinking, walking from one to another. What do they want? Quick, easy food. Maybe. Quick, easy food. Capsule machines? Yeah. Why don't we just make a vending machine that sells hotcakes? Hotcakes? Hot cross yeah. buns. I mean, you like just said pancakes? that... You just said these sandwiches would sell like hotcakes. Why don't we yeah. sell hotcakes? And hotcakes will definitely sell like hotcakes. We should... Yeah, everyone right. should sell hotcakes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the expression, right? Yeah. yeah. I suppose so. Like blind, you, should, you should be able to go to our website buy some Blind Wave hotcakes right now. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know how we do this. I don't know either. But it would sell like hotcakes. I mean, Rick makes pancakes and they're good. He's going to make the whole world pancakes? Uh, I'd be busy. Wrap them in foil. <laughs> It'll be cold by the time they get, get there. Get them in foil. <laughs> put, them, put them in something. What a pleasant want. thing to say, though. Like, I've made the whole world pancakes. Yeah. You know? Like, there are a lot of things you could do in the world. That's one of it's the... like Johnny Appleseed. Yeah, exactly. I guess. 
What did he do? He planted a bunch of apple trees. Just a bunch of apple trees? Yeah. Everywhere. Wasn't that like a alcohol company gimmick? Might have been. I don't know. I learned it in school, but we learned a lot of the shady things in school. Yeah. So who Eventually, knows? Eventually, if you look into things too deep, everything sucks. Sure. You ever heard about the Grim Fairy Tales? Mm-hmm. There's a lot That's darker than shit. the other ones. <laughs> I missed the third name. We got Nathan, Chuck, oh. and there was someone else. Oh, I didn't write him down. And they never said it. I wrote they, Catherine. They kept, they, never met her. they kept saying Chuck. I even put down cubes from Mark Cuban. <laughs> but I couldn't get it. They never said it again. I kept just say, fucking say the name. That's what I wanted, you know? <laughs> was there a... Sean or Sean? Sean was Jake. Jake was, Jake him, was right? Sean. Uh, and then there was a Shane Reed in the beginning. I got Shane, everybody's name. I got Shane Reed. I got Catherine. But the fucking... Jesus. The fucking Jesus. Zeph Wilcox. Zeph. That. <laughs> I liked when he was like, ah, oh, I had a I'm friend lost. with the same name. Like, he had a friend named Zeph. Friend named Zeph. Uh, I love the, like, he taught me what type of cop I am. I would never I'm lost. <laughs> I would never tell anyone again. I like the uh, Rosa flip flopping. Yeah, that, that was, was good. good. Holt is always amazing. Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> yeah, right. I liked, I liked Hitchcock and Kelly's Scully's presentation. Yeah, me too. They were just reading. They were nervous, but they did. Great. Paper. Yeah, I've seen many a student do that exact presentation. And Jake's uh, tagline for his movie. This summer, there are take backs. Uh, Pretty good. Pretty the episode good. is called The Take Back. The Take Back? Yeah. 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 That's what it's called. I, yeah, I saw Doug Judy in the episode description. Oh, did you? Ah. Damn. Dead. Let's see. Doug Judy, Trudy Judy, Mark Cuban. <laughs> Mark yeah. Cuban. Right. There was a Nathan. Nathan. I got Chuck. I don't SWAT know guy. Oh, that's not him. There was a Shane Reed. Yep. yep. There was a Chuck. I got Chuck. Yeah. That guy. I got Nathan and Chuck. Oh, that's it, Eric. No, oh. they don't even have it on there. No, this is a Josh. A Josh. No, Josh. <laughs> I left a fucking space for when they would say it again. Oh, wait. There is a Damien uncredited. I don't know who that is. Uh, I'm going Josh. Because yeah. they said it. Was, was that it. him? No, I don't believe so. That was... Uh, was he one of the dancers? That was, no, that was the Russian guy. Was he? He was like the Russian guard upstairs. Yeah, Georgina. yeah. The yeah. one checking out Trudy. He was bald. Mm-hmm. Holt's back in his office. He, he is. He's captain again. Which is Everything awesome. is right in the world. It is. I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with this as a follow-up to the last episode, which was one of my favorites. Yeah, I liked it too. This was fun. Yeah, yeah all the Judy episodes are fun. Yeah, I, yeah. There's no disappointed Judy Judy outing, is there? I don't think so. No, yeah. I think all of them are great, all and great. they all have me expecting some twist, which is why I was expecting a twist in this one. And I'm like, fuck, man, there's no twist, and they waited till the credits. <laughs> yeah. To do, do, do the twist. Do you think we're like we're not waiting all the way till next season to get the wedding, right? Will we be at the Judy wedding? Yeah, I think. You think so? Yeah. A federal judge. Okay. I think we're more likely to have a baby. Yeah. Before? Than we were, than we are to go to Judy's wedding. I think both are happening. You think? Yeah. Definitely. I loved his, like, job. (laughs) Yeah. Keish has a weird texture. (laughs) Whatever he's doing. You know? And so, like, it's just this white senator guy who's just like... (laughs) <laughs> I agree. I never, <laughs> like, I've never had quiche. Does quiche um, have a weird texture? Those are just like those little almost cupcake looking things, right? Is that I'm what that sure, is? I'm pretty sure. I was thinking of a peach. I'm like, I guess. Wait, what? No, I think they're like a cooked. Like oh, a mini, a Like a mini souffle. I thought it was like one of those fruits or veggies. I, I haven't fucked around with that. It's a quiche. No. Yeah. I don't we, know what you're thinking of. I don't know. We had a friend like that, but he was the white guy in the Chinese like business room. Mmm. Yeah, we did. Yeah, he did do that. Yeah. That was his job. That was. I suppose you're right. Yeah. At first I was like, where are you going with this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he did do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was fun. See you next week. Smush, shush. Judge. <gasps> Is he going to be Judge Judy? Not yet. That's pretty good. She's a judge. <laughs> yeah. She will be. Judge, Judge Judy. Judy. He takes the name. Oh. You're right, Judge Judy. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>